Facebook Live, we have arrived. Let's get it in, y'all. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I seek to scripture study and prayer line. On his 14th day in uh, December 2018, y'all. Good morning, Nicole, Miss Robinson, Occult Robinson, Donna, Coles, Big Kevin Smith in the building. Hallelujah. Big Coles Doss. Y'all check out his son, Keelan Doss. He, he tan him up on that uh, football field. He's graduating from uh, UC Davis. One of the best uh, uh, receivers in the world. <laughs> one of the best receivers in the whole entire nation. Of course, that's in the world because uh, America holds down football. Yeah. Well, bless you all. Let's get ready to get in the word, y'all. Uh, Al Mal, what's up, family? Took care of our nephew uh, yesterday. Went to go see about him, man. Um, let's get in the word, y'all. Let's go to Galatians this morning. Let's go to Galatians this morning. Galatians 6, right? Um... Six and one. Trend up. What's up? What's up, sis? Look what this say. This is like some real talk type stuff right here. Here we go. Six and one. Galatians six and one. Look what it say. It says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself. Least I also be tempted. Right? Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of the Mashiach. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Palladium. Six. <clears throat> Look what he said. Brother, if a man be overtaken in a fault, you which are spiritual, how should we find out? How should we find out when someone's overtaken in a fault? How should we find out? <laughs> um... When somebody's overtaken in a fault, we know that ye which are spiritual should restore. You don't need nobody that will come trying to restore cussing. Mm -hmm. Or carnal will tell you to hit them. For, you need to go fight them. Or girl, he doing it. Look, you need to go get you some too. He can do it. We can do it too. You don't need that. Ye which are spiritual. You don't need, I don't care what title a person holds. The title can be mama. Granny. Daddies and grandpas come with carnal, with carnal uh, advice. Because they carnal. You don't need to be trying to restore nobody. You, you, you'll mess them up worse. That's why uh, the book uh, uh, teaches us, blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the unyali. We be so in love with our spouse and go ask them what they should do. And your spouse, like Job's wife, tell you some dumb stuff, some old wicked, some old wicked stuff. <laughs> 
Brother, if a man be overtaken in the fault, how should we know when someone's overtaken in the fault? Because we care and we watch you? I agree with that. The word says, know them that labor among you. I agree with that too. But when you belong to the most high, how people should find out if you're struggling is through James 5 and 14, right? 5 and 14, James 5 and 14, I'm going to read it, right? It said, is any sick among you? That's a question. Anybody tripping? Anybody Anybody struggling with cigarettes or lust? Oh, you too private, huh? You, don't, you, you, want, you want people to think you're doing better than you are? You ain't mind your business? You and y'all got it right, even though you're secretly a repetitive sinner, a repetitive liar. Your, your, your attitude's off the hook. You're lustful. But it ain't no, you and y'all going to deal with it. How should, how should one we'll find out? Look what it say. Hey, hey. Oh. Huh. Is, <laughs> is there any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the ecclesia. Let them do it. If you care about your soul. The Most High will put you in a situation where you need the ecclesia. You need a sap, as Steel Will named it spiritual accountability partner you need a sap someone you can talk to and i pray your sap is not a sap the other kind but it's somebody that's led by the rule of hakadesh <laughs> is any sick among you let him let her call for the elders someone spiritual in the ecclesia and let them pray over him but they, they, but, but they're gonna find out through the person that don't want to live s s s s uh, a sinful. They're sin sick. They need some help. They've been caught up in a stronghold. Something grabbed them. They're not going to treat their spouse right. They, 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 they not, they, 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 they're not going to stop cussing and lying. They're going to give me the opportunity. They're going to hop in the bed. They're going to get drunk. You got you got to put a lock on the liquor cabinet. In fact, get a, a dolly and just tip, tip that joke over and just roll it on out the house. Get it up out of there. Come on, somebody. Is there any sick among you? Let him say help. I've fallen and I can't get up. You say say. You say something. So Galatians 6 and 1, y'all, come on. Brother, if a man be overtaken in the fall, he should have said something. She should have said something. Ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. You don't, you, don't, you don't want to approach someone that's struggling the wrong way, especially if they're struggling in, uh, via their attitude, because you can go to help somebody and end up in a fist fight with them. You don't want to run up on somebody trying to help them, and they the type that uh, hollering, mind your business. Give not that which is yali on the dog. Some people is in sin and they want to be. Some people are in sin and they want to be, and they'll tell you to mind your business. And if you don't, they'll turn and rend you. That's why the word says, give not that which is yali on the dog, do the cast thy pearls before swine. Because you could go to help somebody that don't want no help. They, they want to continue doing exactly what they're doing. And will rush and let you know in the rudest way possible. Maybe with a straight right hand and a left hook to mind your business. If if if, if you see a man that's overtaking the fall, you with your spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Consider thyself, lest I also be tempted. Now you now you sinning, messing with them, with the somebody struggling uh, 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 with fornication, and, and, and next thing you know, you laid up in a motel room with them smoking a cigarette when it's all over. Blowing O's. Wondering what happened. You wasn't spiritual. You wasn't ready. And you end up getting tempted. Went over there and took that pack of cigarettes. As soon as you got in the car, you smoked them. On your way home. It says, bear ye one another's burdens. And so fulfill ye the love of the Mashiach. We should care about one another spiritually. We don't, we don't need uh, nobody 
uh, uh, like 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 uh, uh, so called Peter was. When when the Mashiach had to go to Jerusalem and suffer and die, he was going to suffer many things of the Pharisees, and, and and be killed for the sins of mankind. And when he broke that news to to his disciples, Peter hollered, "No, nah, be far from you. You don't need nobody like that." When something is hard to do, it's rough to do. You ask the wrong person, they give you some satanic, carnal, natural, fleshly advice. You're already struggling. The Mashiach told him, I'm offended. Get behind me, Satan, because you offended me. It's offensive that you're still on the devil's team and your advice is from the devil. I'm offended that I'm struggling in this area and I came to you for spiritual guidance. I dialed the wrong number. Because Joker, you told me to do it. Bear ye one another's burdens. Spiritually. And so fulfill ye uh, 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 the law of, uh, of the Mashiach. You know what the law of the Mashiach is? Love. Yeah, it's love. Bear ye one another's burden, and so fulfill ye the law of the Messiah. The law of the Spirit is life. Romans, the eighth chapter. And the law of sin is death. And the law of the Spirit is the completion, fulfillment of the Ten Commandments. And the fulfillment of the Ten Commandments, the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. The righteousness of the law is love. Third verse. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. You got people that are religious running around here. Nobody care nothing about you giving away some toys. Nobody care nothing about you uh, 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 um, doing good deeds. You're adulterer. You're a fornicator. You're a liar. Don't nobody care nothing about it, especially Yah. He's not impressed. He's the opposite of uh, impressed. In fact, when folks, according to Matter Yahoo, they call him Matthews, Matthews 7 and 21, when they come with their resumes of all the religious stuff they did, all the people they fed, all the good deeds they did, he's going to say, depart from me, I don't even know you. You did, you did uh, live in lawlessness. You did live in sin. You there to going against the word of truth. You're living in sin, but you're a good deeds type of a person. Everybody in the community speak highly of you, but y'all don't. Woe to you when people speak highly of you. So so did they are the false prophets, the word teaches. You can't go by the accolades of man, the opinion of man. Are you obeying the most high? If any man think himself to be something when he is nothing, the, it ain't, the problem isn't you knowing you're something in y'all because you're living it. The problem is you think you're something when you don't even give. <laughs> you talk good, but you don't give. You, you, you talk good, but you don't fuck give. You got grudges. You talk good, but you don't live good. You don't treat, you don't treat people good. You don't treat your spouse good. You're not on your post. You're not doing what you should be doing. We, we have we're a body and everyone has a job to do concerning the body and you got folks that don't function they attend but they're not functioning they're not effective the ruah can't use them the spirit of the most high can't use them because the the ruah using you causes inconvenience it'll take away from your time it'll take away from your privacy it'll take away from your finances it'll take away from your pride it'll take away from your arrogance It'll take away from your, uh, uh, your introverted. I'm personal and private. It'll snatch that crap up out of you. So if anyone think they something, then be something in him because that's the only thing that makes us worth anything. If the salt has lost its savor, if the salt has lost its uh, flavor, well, where would it be salted? It ain't good. But to be trodden down under the foot of men, when we belong to him, what gives us our value is him, the greater one that lives inside of us. Because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. What gives me my value is I won't sleep with you even if you want to and you're fine. 
That's what give me my value. Well, give me my values. I'm led by his ruah, by love, that I will help you when it's in my power. Not having a form of yaliness, denying the power thereof, run around here religious. A religious cat that can't wait to get you alone at, 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 at your home when your husband not at home. That stuff don't count. Having a form of yaliness, denying the power. Church world full of Catholicism. There's a people that he hate that's led. Uh, I know them to say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. There's a people that he hate that hijacked the religious world. They spawned out false doctrine everywhere because Yah, Yah hate them and they hate Yah. <coughs> and they're in control and they affected what they call the church community. They affected it's, The church community is infected. You got a bunch of carnal preachers that will sleep with you and take all your money. And like little boys, men that like little boys, prophets that like women, go to bed with them, stand up for the rights of sinful, uh, unyali people. That's the climate we're in. Because of the synagogue of Satan working with the devil, the, the prince of the air. The prince of the air got children that's controlling the airwaves controlling the Bible uh, bookstores, controlling, controlling the seminaries, controlling uh, the churches. And fo folks think that they're something when they're nothing because they've been Catholicized. Some once saved, always saved. Uh, not taking the responsibility for the greater one that's living inside of them. They're not taking the responsibility for blesses the man that endureth temptation. You're going to endure this thing. I'm going to grit my teeth and tell my wicked self, No. So I can be led by his spirit, so I can walk in the spirit of love, so I can be that new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. <laughs> if any man think himself to be something, when, when, when he is nothing, you're a devil. <laughs> uh, in church, <laughs> when he is nothing, camp dwellers, trying to be justified by the law, bunch of physical uh, fleshly, earthly satisfaction, relig re religious ritual type of a person, proud of themselves. <laughs> oh, come on, y'all. Y'all lighting candles now? I ain't mad at you if you're living it, but don't perpetrate that like it's necessary. And if you're around people that believe it's necessary, then quit lighting a doggone candle. You're sending out the wrong message. You don't want to reinforce a carnal commandment. You want to reinforce the, the, the moving of the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of the Most High. You want to operate in the spirit of love. Quit being so doggone mean lighting candles. Quit lighting the candle then. Light your own candle. Get your, get your candle lit. <laughs> get the feast day in you. Get the beard, the oil that ran from Aaron's beard. Get it, get it in your spirit because it represented the Ruach HaKadosh. Had your feet, feet shod with the preparation of the good news of peace. <laughs> uh, if any man think himself to be something, ain't nothing wrong with having self-esteem in y'all. Not according to your own righteousness, because our righteousness is as filthy rags, and the filthy rag is a dirty tampon. <laughs> if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, because you get caught up in a good deed, you get stuck. You get caught up in a good deed, but you're not obeying the most high. Those that belong to the most high will be inconvenienced. Y'all gonna do it. It ain't, don't think it's the devil. It was the spirit of Yah that, that, that sent the Mashiach into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Y'all not hiding you from the devil. Y'all didn't hide uh, 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 Adam and Eve from the devil, the serpent in the beginning. He told, he told them to stay away from him. Stay away from that poison tree. We're liking on the trees, y'all. He, he told them to stay away from that tree. There was a tree in the midst of the garden when, you, when you're dealing with, with, with the devil. It was the devil. Stay away from him. And they, she couldn't do it. And he was so henpecked, he couldn't do it because his wife was fine. He liked her more than he liked Yah. <laughs> If any man think himself to be something, come on, y'all. Don't be not deceived. Y'all is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. That's in here, y'all. If any man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. 
You notice uh, uh, Matthew Yahoo 24, they call him Matthew, y'all, 24. And they was talking about the destruction of the temple. First thing the Mashiach said to him, take heed that no man deceive you. Because we, we living in a dispensation where people get deceived. Having a form of Yahweh that's denying the power of the earth. Some people that's rising up to be pillars, they start doing what they're supposed to do and then they fall off. It be on the under though. They don't say nothing. <laughs> and then they come back. Fall. Like, you can't play no seesaw with Yah. It's sad when you're supposed to be dependable. It's sad when pillars move because the building can fall down. So you smite the shepherd, the sheep scatter, the word teaches. You move a pillar, the, the, the building can fall. And you got people that's established ministry, but they still not doing what they should do across the board. A little leaven leaven the whole lot. Stay posted or get posted because some people posting, but they not completely posted. They not completely posted. And they'll believe that there's something when they're nothing. And they deceived themselves because they're not willing to really do what it takes. But let every man prove his own work. When you look at the mirror of the word, you should be ready to prove your own work. In other words, you should be living the life. You shouldn't be a liar. You shouldn't be fornicating. You shouldn't be committing adultery. You shouldn't be getting high and drunk. You shouldn't be going to strip club. You shouldn't be A, B, C, D, you know, y'all know. We, a whole lot of stuff we shouldn't be doing. <coughs> And we need to repent and stop doing it to be to, to be a pillar. Remember, if any man be overtaken in a fault, sin, ye with your spiritual restore, get up from there. In the spirit of meekness, consider thyself. The meek part, that don't mean don't cry loud and spare not. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. You tell a person a friend, and when you correct folks, it hurt. In the spirit of meekness, considering yourself. You're supposed to approach a person the right way, and you got to know what's right. Some people, you got to just get it, tell them, look, you, you're wrong. Isn't that what uh, uh, the Mashiach did? Called that woman a dog. So you're living like a dog. She said, truth. Okay, I can work with you. Some people would say, that wasn't meek. Because you have a Casper the Friendly Ghost definition of meek. You got to Catholicize this false doctrine, fake Roman Catholic Church position. You got a satanic position. Yah disciplines his children. He chastens them and he tells them the truth. And faithful are the wounds of a friend. You can get wounded by hearing the truth because your flesh is mad. It's the truth anyhow. For first still, but let every man prove his own work. Get in the mirror of the word. Because you got to present yourself blameless through the Ruach HaKadosh, through cooperating with the spirit of the Most High. He's able to present you blameless before his presence. And you got to get in the mirror of the word, find yourself. And as the word revealed, make the necessary adjustments. That's your job. It is your job, if you're overtaken in the fault, to, to go to the ecclesia, to go to the elders of the ecclesia and let your faults be known so they can pray for you. And he said, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much or a woman. Come on, somebody. Let every man prove his own work. Prove you saved. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in the other. You ain't got to brag on your watchman. You can brag on yourself. Folks can see your good works and magnify your father which is in heaven. Went on to say, fifth verse, for every man shall bear his own burden. He said, if any man come after me, let him, let him, uh, bear his own burden, his own straws. Pick up your own torture tree. He was hung on a tree, y'all. If you study it, he was hung on a tree. That cross come from Catholicism. That's a whole nother story. He was hung on a tree. Deuteronomy speaks of curses everyone that hangs on a tree. Galatians speaks of uh, 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 curses everyone that hangeth on a tree. For every man shall bear his own burden. Yeah, you got to take it on the chin. Six verse, stingy folks don't like. Let him that is taught in the word communicate on the, on the, on the him that teeth is all good thing. Look it up. Because the average person don't know what six verse mean. But it's talking about when you, when you, when you are part of the, the, the process of the most high. 
He's seeing a man, a woman, whomever it might be, but, but, but the word is coming forth and it's pruning you and it's changing you and you join that movement, you join that ecclesia. That's where Yah is going to f fuel you. You're supposed to humble yourself up under that uh, ministry so you can be transformed by renewing your mind and you're supposed to communicate. That means financially support. Look it up. Study to show yourself approved. And be not deceived, y'all is not mocked. What sort of man sow up that shall he also reap? Because you got people that are carnal as heck. It's the letter that killeth, but it's the ruah. It's the spirit that gives life. You can get all the letter you want and you just sound good. You probably can even help other people, but you can't help yourself. Because you're carnal. When the body is functioning appropriately, it works cohesively together. And everyone got a job to do. And you got to be spiritual in order to do that job. And when you're spiritual, you'll do the whole job. And those are the type of people that should be going around restoring those that ain't. If you corner, if you weak in that area, and they weak in the area, you, you ain't the spiritual person that can restore. He's looking for people that can restore, that will do the whole role, the whole job. A little leaven left the whole lump, y'all. A little leaven, the whole lump. There's a job to be done in totality, and it's time for pillars to stand up and be that totality. As opposed to talking real good, you start living real good, and in the back up your good talk. Your, your walk is substantiated by your lifestyle. He which is spiritual should be restoring because they can deal with whatever you're going through because they've been there, done that. Winter came back, blameless. They're walking in it. That don't mean that they didn't make mistakes in it growing. That don't mean they never fail. Just men fall seven times. One thing about them, they get up again. It's the wicked that fall into mischief. You got folks struggling with obvious stuff. Pillars that's struggling with obvious stuff for years and still ain't got it right. But they going forth with the look, the look of a pillar. <laughs> yeah, it's a pillar, but it's hollow. Hit it with a hammer and watch the whole building going to fall. Brother, if a man, back to the top, y'all. Brother, if a man be overtaken in a the fault, they're sinning. We ain't, we ain't got the doctrine to mind your business. <laughs> this is y'all's business. And he's into rescuing his children. And it's not the Catholicized rescue, the satanic invasion of truth rescue, the, 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 the Talmudic Jew. It's the most evil book in the world is the Talmud. The, the false Ashkenazi fake satanic Jew that folks love to send money to that invade and start killing the Palestinians in 1947. That satanic Jew, that Talmudic Jew is running Christianity. Oh, I'm going to tell you in you have. And it's affecting all the churches around us. And they got these face angelic Ku Klux Klan uh, uh, Christian members uh, that hate the true Israel, racist against the true Israel, running it, telling you to send the money to Israel, send the money to the synagogue of Satan. And, and this place has been Catholicized. There's a Babylonian whore, Catholicism. They got the whole world drunk on the wine of her fornication, switching names and switching... Uh, 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 trading out fulfilled feast days for satanic uh, uh, idol worship days like Christmas and, and Easter and Valentine's Day and come on somebody <laughs> got, got, got them twisted but I don't want to go carnal with it I'm just telling you for, from a from a from a, 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 um, a spiritual standpoint that the game been changed right up under your nose you love your bishop don't you the game been changed right up under your nose. And not only from a Catholicized standpoint as far as uh, the ceremonies, but the spiritual piece. They're preaching a new gospel, a gospel that enables you to stay in sin. What am I going to restore you for when I should mind my own business? Because we're all sinners saved by grace. Look at your brother. Man, go. I ain't looking at nobody. I'm looking at y'all. I'm looking on to him. <laughs> Uh, who is the author and the finisher of my faith. <laughs> and if I do look at my brother and I see something wrong, I'm going to tell him. I'm not going to mind your business. No. Nah. Uh-uh. If, 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 if a man be overtaken in the fault, ye which are spiritual, get in the restoration mode, restore. 
because a little leaven leavened the whole lump. In closing, 1 Corinthians 5, he, this young man sleeping with his father's wife. And Shaul said, you mean to tell me y'all praising y'all over there and not had rather mourned? You mean to tell me you got this homosexual prancing with them tight pants on, uh, 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 twerking in front of the whole congregation to some gospel music, to some, some choir? Are you serious right now? And you, you supporting it and playing for it and beating the drums with him? You playing, right? And have not rather mourn? You should be crying. You make, get, get, come on, kids. Get the, get the heck up out of here. That satanic spirit in front of the people. That pimp up there that slept with everybody on the front row. All the kids in there on the first three rows look like him. And we're going to sit there and talk about where well, everybody's sitting. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Brother, and if, if a man be overtaken in fault, that means if you sin it. But that's my past. If anyone, if a man be overtaken in fault, you with your spiritual, tell them they're wrong. Don't go cuss them out, tell them they're wrong. And do it in the spirit of love. Consider thy own self. Because if you run up on the wrong person trying to help them, they don't want help. At least I also be tempted. You might end up sinning too. Everybody, Ecclesia. Bear you one another's burdens and so fulfill you the law of the Mashiach. We should be caring about one another. And then he switched back to let it be known. Even though we should be wanting to restore people, and we should. Keep the standard of Yah in the ministry, and we should. Not allow sin to be perpetrated in the ministry, and we should. Third verse, he let it be known. Or the fourth verse, he let it be known. But let every man prove his own work. Take responsibility for your own soul. And if you start tripping as you're taking responsibility, you call for the elders of the Ecclesia so they'll know how they can help you. So we can be that Ecclesia without spot, wrinkle, or blemish or any such thing. Do anybody preach that scripture anymore? We should be the Ecclesia without spot, wrinkle, or blemish or any such thing. Without clubbing, getting drunk, fornication, committing adultery, cussing, or any such thing. You get it? Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. As humbly as we know how, gleaning in the truth of your word, we pray your word will forth with clarity, falling down in the souls of your children, springing up in everlasting life. Let the pillars stand up to be pillars, examples, so people can see our good works and magnify our Father which is in heaven. We decree it even upon ourselves that we will walk circumspectly before him in obedience to the leading of his Ruach HaKadosh. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all. Man. Conference recording stopped. Conference, a conference, muted, unmuted. Which one is it? Is it muted or unmuted? Now I'm confused. It's muted. Let me do it again. Conference unmuted. All right. That was the lesson, y'all. We printed the word found you got all in your business, combed your hair, and made you change your underwear. I just had to rhyme, y'all. If the message blessed you, well, then bless you. If you're willing to push the share button so it can bless somebody else, hallelujah. Um, if this is a ministry that you're a part of, you should already be sowing. I hope I'm not talking to any pillars that don't sow. <laughs> if you're part of the ministry and you're growing thereby, you should sow. Anyone else, you can sow if you'd like to. All you got to do is go to PayPal, put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N-5857 at Yahoo.com. Just food for thought. They that work the altar should live of it. People don't get that concept. They do it every now and then whenever they feel like it. Well, when the most high move and have your job do that to you or take it from you, then you'll know how other people of Yah feel when they work real hard working, laboring in the word, and you sit around. <laughs> I ain't going to go there. I want to, but I'm not. So, um, we got the cash app. Or if you know my phone number, you can give that way if you'd like. Those as a part of the ministry, you should. And, um, yeah. We about to be on the line, y'all, going back over the word again. Um, we talk about it, man. We get in it, love on one another, pray for one another. Sometimes we do it for hours. 
If you want to hang out with us, it's all good because we go back over the word and talk about it, encouraging one another, and so much the more as we see the day approaching. All you got to do is dial 302 302- 202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Um, that's it. I'ma stop because I'd go there right now. Real talk, because it's needed. It's needed. It's it's t- it's time for those who really belong to Yah to stand up and start being a part of a ministry that can change this dumb stuff going on y'all and 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 not try to you know make friends we're making disciples around here but i'm getting out of here y'all y'all pray for me as i pray for you be baruch uh and brock shalom i'm gone